echo dropouts in intraatrial septum is an often noted finding in echocardiogram reports an echo dropout in the intraatrial septum is often noted in the epical four chamber view this need not mean that there is an atrial septal defect this is because the thin atrial septum in the region of the foramen ovale is often not imaged well in the epical four chamber view as the ultrasound beam is parallel to the intraatrial septum in this view to get a good ultrasound image the structure being imaged should be perpendicular to the ultrasound beam in case of doppler echo the beam should be parallel to the flow being imaged this image taken in a different phase of cardiac cycle shows a thin intraatrial septum in the region of the foramen ovale which had shown an echo dropout in the previous frame this problem of echo dropouts in the secondum region of atrial septum was noted as early as 1977 by dillon and associates they found that dropouts in the secondum location are not specific for atrial septal defects while those in the ostium primum locations are if color doppler flow imaging is used the flow across the atrial septal defect can be seen well in the epical four chamber view as the flow travels from the left atrium to the right atrium if there is a true atrial septal defect in this case color flow mapping did not show a flow across the atrial septum subcostal four chamber view is better for looking at the atrial septal defects because the ultrasound beam is perpendicular to the atrial septum in that view hence any atrial septal defect noted in subcostal view is taken as real and not as a false echo dropout the flow across the atrial septal defect is also well seen in subcostal view as the flow is parallel to the ultrasound beam a red flow will be seen in case of left to right shunt and a blue flow in case of right to left shunt that is away from the transducer here are the references